Today we have a special declutter. I am doing makeup brushes. As you can see, I have quite a few. I have some miscellaneous brands and some sponges over here. And then we have my favorite section, which is my bling brushes section. Obviously, these are uh, quite literally my favorite. You can see that these are my dirty brushes. And then all of the other ones are clean. I have a few dirty brushes over here, but like 98% of my non-blamed brushes brushes are clean, meaning that I don't use them. So I'm going to be decluttering today. I'm also gonna show you guys how I clean my brushes. I've done a few videos like this in the past, but I will just show you once again, everything that I use will be linked down below, including my lovely blinged brushes. And of course, as always, you guys can use code PAGE for 10% off of blinged brushes. We have five different sets. Um, this is my set here. We have a mixture of rose gold and silver here. We have Ali's set, and then we have the Starry Nights collection here. So um, I have all five of the sets and several sets of some. And uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get started we're gonna start with sponges so I'm going to move a few of these brush cups out of the way just so that there's not so much going on in the frame and it's not so hectic of course as soon as I get my camera set up my battery is about to die so I'm gonna go change that and then we will get to the project that is makeup sponges and we are back with my pile of sponges. Now, um, a lot of these, actually most of these, are my Blinged Brushes collaboration. All of these diamond ones, these flat side ones, and these teardrop ones. Basically all of the pink ones are my collaboration with Blinged Brushes. So I have lots of those. I do have a few other sponges thrown in here. I feel like, did I just say brushes? I don't know, but these are sponges, obviously. So. Um, I'm going to kind of go through here. Um, this one I think is from e.l.f. I definitely don't need that, so that one can go. This donut one is so cute in theory. This is the uh, Dunkin' Donuts collab, but I probably won't use this again. I, I liked it at first. I loved the finish that it left on my skin, but it's just very large and kind of impractical, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass that one along. Same with this Juno & Co sponge. This is like a velvet one, and I just don't think that I like these microfiber ones as much as your more traditional, like soft, fluffy beauty sponge, so I'm gonna declutter that one. I'm pretty sure this one is Ofra, and I actually really love this one. I think this one might be Elf, and I like that one as well. Um, this one is also e.l.f. I have two, I actually have three sponges that look kind of similar in shape. We have e.l.f., Lorelei Los Angeles, and Lunar Beauty. So I think I will keep the Lunar Beauty and the Lorelei sponges, these two. And then I'll go ahead and pass along this little e.l.f. one. It's just a little bit too flimsy for my liking. Um, I like that these are just like slightly more firm. Um, and then everything else is bling brushes, so of course I will be keeping them, but I do need to wash these, like, as soon as possible, so you guys will see some clips of that in a little bit, but let's go ahead and move on to some brushes. So I wanted to show you guys the organization of my blinged brushes because I get questions on it all of the time. I will zoom you guys out a little bit so you can see the full thing. So this organizer here is from Amazon. I will have it linked down below. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'm pretty sure it's meant for pens or something, but I saw this and thought it would be quite literally perfect for my blinged brushes. It also, oh, that was a fail. It also spins when there's nothing obstructing its path. Um, and I love that it's clear, so I still get to see my beautiful blinged brushes through it. Um, and the sizes of the compartments are perfect. 
Um, I like organizing my brushes by shape and style, which they aren't perfect right now. Um, like they're kind of, there's a few that are misplaced at the moment, but I think this is perfect and I have several brush sets in here. I also have some blamed brushes stored in this container. Again, this is also from Amazon and I will have it linked down below. It came with these pink pearls, but I just ended up taking them out. I used to have them in here, but I feel like I like the look of just like the straight crystals. Also, I can fit a lot more brushes this way because I, again, I do have so many. So these are all of my silver and rose gold eye brushes. I also have Allie's brush set, which I just have in this little cup. These are absolutely beautiful. If you guys love red, you guys need these brushes. Look at that. They're so beautiful. I love her brushes so much. So I just have them in this little cup. This is like a handmade cup. I think I stole it from my mom, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure where it's from probably like an arts market or something um, But Allie's brushes get their own special little cup there And then I also have these which I got a long time ago. I purchased these from glam obsession design I'm not sure if she still sells these but I will have her Instagram linked down below um, And maybe she still sells these brush holders. I know she does some other stuff now, too um, But these are all of my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brushes these are fantastic. If I wasn't using bling brushes, I would most likely be using Morphe. I, I only have a few brands, um, Morphe being like my second largest category, but I just don't use them like I used to. Not with having this many bling brushes uh, in my uh, access. So um, we have my Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes, and then I also have a ton of Morphe eye brushes here, different collections, limited edition sets, all kinds of different stuff. So we're definitely gonna get rid of quite a few of these because they're literally all clean, which actually makes things really easy because I don't have to like, do a deep clean on every single brush before I pass them along and declutter them. Um, I have some miscellaneous brands here like Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, I also have some random one-off ones like Laura Mercier. I have some BK Beauty which were sent to me. I have some Kaleidos so we'll go through all of those. Um, I think we'll start, I'll just pick a random cup and we'll start with that. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the Starry Nights collection up close just because I know that I mentioned them at the beginning of the video, but I wanted to give you guys a nice close-up because they deserve their own moment. These are absolutely stunning and I'm obsessed. So I'm just going to pick a random cup and then we're just going to dump them out and organize and declutter and I'll show you guys like my before and after piles and we will go from there. Here we have brush cup number one. So we are done with the first cup, at least for now. I'm gonna have to kind of get an idea of what all I have. Um, so far I have this set from Morphe. This is a really nice brush set. This one looks like it's different. Is this Morphe? No, this is Laura Mercier. We'll set that over there. So for now, I'm gonna keep this Morphe set. Um, like I said, we still need to see what else we have in the other cups. So this is gonna be like a contingent pile. Um, over here I have my declutter pile. I'm going to pass all of these along. These are all fantastic brushes. I have brands like, I forget what this brand is, um, P. Louise? No? I, I don't know. Maybe? I forget. But I have these neon ones. I have Alamar Cosmetics, Laura Mercier, Elf, BK Beauty, um, and then even a few like Morphe ones, like a random couple Morphe ones. So um, yeah, this is so far our declutter pile. I also have these, this is like my official keep pile. In here I have my Laura Lee, I have some Lunar Beauty, I have one Jaclyn Hill Morphe, and then this Hourglass, oh, along with um, an Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, so far this is my keep, this is my declutter, and then this is my contingent pile. So let's go ahead and move on to the next cup. All right, so here is my second pile of brushes. Yeah. 
So again, we have another contingent pile. This is gonna be my declutter pile. I have these little globes from Sephora, which are just pretty old. Um, and I actually got a new pair from Kira, Kira Moon, is that what it's called? It's a really cute pink and red skincare brand. So I'm gonna pass these along. Um, I have a few more BK brushes. Um, I have some Morphe brushes in here. I have several duplicates of brushes. Like, I think I have four of, or three of these in just this one cup. So um, these are just like, I have like three plus of each. Um, and then again, I have like a little limited edition one. This is, I forget what collection this was from. It's really cute and all, but I just really need to simplify things. I've been doing that a lot in my life in different categories. I just did my closet. Now it's time to do my makeup brushes. So all of these will be decluttered. And again, this will be sort of like my contingent pile, depending on what else I have in the rest of my cups. I think I'm going to have to look at all of my Morphe brushes at the end um, and just see as a whole like what I have several of and then go from there. But for now, these will be added to my declutter pile. All right, here is our third. Is this our third cup? I think this is our third cup. Uh, either way, here's our next pile of brushes. So now I'm gonna go through this one. These are all uh, Laura Lee Los Angeles and Lunar Beauty brushes, along with a couple Jaclyn Hill and Morphe brushes. So I'm gonna add these to my keep pile. I have this cute little MAC brush, but do I need it? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Let me brighten this up for you. I feel like it was really dark, so I'm sorry if it was super dark the whole video. Um, I want to keep this, but I know I don't need it, so we're going to get rid of the MAC one. Um, I have this Morphe one, which I know that I have several of these, so I'll go ahead and pass that one along as well. And then I have this e.l.f. Putty Blush brush, which I think I'm going to keep for now. I'm going to put that in the keep pile. But all of these I'm going to be decluttering. Um, again, I just have some miscellaneous brands, Laura Mercier, Alomar. Kaleidos, BK Beauty, MAC, and Morphe. These BK Beauty ones are really nice. Like, they feel so nice. I just feel like I'm not gonna give them the use that they deserve. Um, these were sent to me as PR like several months ago, and there's, oh my gosh, look how tiny this angled brush is. That is so cute. Um, I just know I'm not gonna give them the love that they deserve and I see them highly talked about in YouTube videos and um, I wish that I could, you know, give them some better use but I just know myself and I know I'm gonna stick to my blinged brushes so um, all of these will be decluttered. Also, I just wanted to mention that nothing will be thrown away. Um, everything will be sanitized and passed along to somebody else that will get good use out of them. Um, here we have our next cup. I think this might be our last one of like these gold cups that we haven't gone through. There is a ton of eye brushes in here, so let's get to it. Well, that was a lot more overwhelming than I had anticipated. I'm gonna start by picking out the limited edition ones uh, that I know that I don't need to keep. appear to be all of the like original Morphe line brushes aside from these white ones which are so cute and I want to keep them but they're Madison Beer uh, Madison Beer collection um I don't really know much about Madison Beer and I feel like kind of like a poser for even having these not knowing who she is <laughs> I mean I like kind of know who she is but like not really do I need these no. Do I want them? Yes. But I also already have my other white Morphe brushes, which are my Jaclyn Hill ones, which I will not be getting rid of. So I think it's safe to pass those along. So already, this is what we're looking at as far as declutter pile. So now I'm going to sift through these brushes and see what I want to keep and what I want to declutter and then we'll look at my Morphe brushes as a whole and again just kind of narrow it down from there. 
I have a ton of these double-ended spoolie and angled brush brushes from Morphe. I also have one from Benefit, so I'll keep two and I'll declutter these five. I have several of these little tiny liner brushes. Um, I guess I will keep two and declutter three. I have a few of these concealer brushes. I might keep one and then declutter two. Oh, I have another one of these liner brushes, so I'll actually keep one or two and declutter four or whatever. I have a few of these small ones. I might keep one and declutter the other two. Here's another Madison Beer one that I'll declutter. These are all M441s, so <laughs> I think I'll keep Mm, I'll keep one. Uh, yeah, I'll keep two and declutter five. These are all M506 brushes. I'll keep two, declutter three. Another 441 that I will declutter. These are all M433s. I will keep two and declutter five. We're finally starting to narrow this down a little bit. These are all M166. I will keep two and declutter three. These are all M456 brushes. I'll keep two and declutter six. These are all M431 brushes. I will keep two, declutter three. M124s, I will keep two, declutter three. We have a few here that are still um, like limited edition sets. They don't have the normal silver ferrule. So, um, I think I will grab the black ones because those go with the first set, I'm pretty sure. And these like silvery, uh, I don't know what color that is, like bra, mm, no. What is that color? The dark silver <laughs> color? I'll declutter those three and I'll put these in the contingent pile. And we are down to our last few. So um, I'm just gonna kind of look through these and see what I wanna keep and then what I want to declutter. I'm gonna keep these here and declutter these here. So from that massive cup, this is what we have left. Um, these are all the ones that I'm keeping and you guys saw how full this thing was. Um, so this is a keep bucket and then this is a keep bucket. Let me go back to the contingent ones and we will revisit those. So I realized that these Morphe ones, the black set that I was gonna keep, it doesn't even have what the brush is on here. Like it just says Morphe, which I feel like that's kind of like not the best. So I think we're gonna get rid of these. Wow, I did not think I was gonna do that, but look at me now. Um, and then we have these brushes, which I think I will keep these. Um, I have a few Morphe and Benefit. This is the only limited edition set that I decided to keep, but I think I'll keep the rest of these and add them to my Morphe eye brushes here. And like I said, I do have these Morphe brushes. These are the Jaclyn Hill collection, um, but I will be keeping all of these. I also have a few Jaclyn Cosmetics brushes in here, um, but these are all those white Jaclyn Hill brushes. I even have her like more recent sets in here, so um, I think I had a few Jaclyn brushes in one of my other cups, so let me transfer these really quick. Okay, so I'm keeping my Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes. I have this cup of Morphe brushes, and then I have this cup of Laura Lee Los Angeles, and I have Lunar Beauty, and then I have like literally three other brushes. I have two Hourglass ones, and I think an Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Um, oh, and this Elf one, so pretty good. That's what we're keeping. Let me show you guys my declutter cups and I'll dump them all out so we have like a dramatic pile of stuff that I'm decluttering. So these are all of the brushes that I am decluttering. Uh, this is a lot. There's a lot of brushes here. I feel like, I don't know if you guys are getting like the full effect of how many brushes this is, but wow, that was four cups worth of brushes. <laughs> I went from six to four too. So um, I'm very happy with this. I feel great. I'm going to 
organize these all again and then I will take you guys into the bathroom to show you how I clean my brushes and what I use and um, that's gonna be it for today's video so we are in the bathroom now I'm gonna show you guys my brush cleaning setup over here I have my microfiber cloth this is the first thing that I would recommend I love using this to lay my brushes on to dry what I like to do is roll up both of the sides so that once I wash my brushes I can lay them like this and that way the end of the brush is slightly elevated and that just prevents water from getting up into the ferrule of the brush and it just makes drying them easier it's better for the brushes that way so that's what I definitely would recommend first second we have the soap so I have two different brush cleaners here I prefer solid brush cleaners I feel like they're just easier to use, they're very concentrated. Um, this is the one I'm currently using. This is the Cinema Secrets All Natural Brush Soap. I definitely recommend this one. I am almost done with it. It's not the prettiest thing <laughs> once it's used, but this is what mine looks like. This one, however, is my favorite. This is the Solid Charcoal Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. This is definitely much more expensive. I think this is like $40 or something for this size, which, um, you can definitely find more inexpensive ones out there, but I love this one so much. I pulled this one out just to show you guys, but I'm going to be using this one today. They both work the same, um, and I'll show you guys how I use them. I also have a little silicone pad here to help rub the brushes on. Rub. That sounds like not, that sounds aggressive. Um, I swirl the brushes on here to help loosen up the product, and then this right here is... The secret to drying your natural fibered brushes. These are brush guards and this is kind of like what comes on brushes when you buy new sets. A lot of times they'll have something like this on them and this is the key. So I will wash my brushes and I will kind of like dry them lightly on a towel and then I'll put these on and it helps hold the shape because if you've ever washed natural brush bristled brushes oh my gosh that's so hard to say natural bristled brushes you know how frizzy and crazy the hairs go and it kind of like ruins the brush almost but these will save you and I got these on Amazon again all of this stuff will be linked down below I have my washcloth here this is just literally any washcloth will work I don't even know where I bought this one <laughs> and then this is something I just wanted to mention this is great for spot cleaning this is um, like a quick brush cleaner also from cinema secrets I like to pour a little bit of this into a container then you just dip your brush in it and then you wipe your brush on a washcloth and it like spot cleans it magically it disinfects it but if you're doing a more deep cleanse I definitely recommend a solid cleanser they also sell liquid cleansers as well I just think that these again are the easiest to use so let me show you guys how I wash my brushes here is what the brush looks like before this is the e24 from my brush set with blinged brushes as you can see there's lots of like orange and peach and pink eyeshadow on this brush so I like to get a little trickle of water going I have my brush soap here so I just like to dampen my brush like this make sure you're always pointing the fibers down um, so that again water doesn't go up the other way and ruin the brush so I just get it wet like this and then I tap in the soap once the soap gets kind of wet it'll go quicker but you can already see the pink that's like getting all over the soap so I just like to tap in here I do just a couple swipes like that and then I will take my silicone little pad here. They sell these at TJ Maxx, Marshalls. This one in particular is from Morphe. And I just do swirls like this. And this just helps softly and gently get into those bristles and get all of that color out. Sometimes I'll kind of go back and forth like this. And then I will get that trickle of water again. And I just kind of massage the makeup brush between my fingers kind of like fanning fanning out the bristles like this just to kind of make sure I get all that soap out of there and once that is done I will take my washcloth and just pat 
I'll pat this way, this way, just kind of getting all of that excess water out. Now, these brushes, these bling brushes are synthetic, so you don't have to worry about the fibers going all over the place. Um, but you can see how clean this already is, so super fantastic. Now I'm going to take this clean brush and lay it on my microfiber cloth just like that so it has a slight angle and then once these are dry they will be ready to use so I have a full brush set brush set here um, I'll show you guys how I do the sponge really quick and then I'm just going to speed through the rest of these brushes Now this sponge is nice and clean. There's still slight staining on it, but that's gonna happen when you let product sit on there for so long, um, like I did. But it looks so much better than it did, and it's nice and clean. So again, I'm just gonna set this on my microfiber towel and let that dry, and then it'll be ready to use the next time I go to do my makeup. So here are all of the brushes clean. This is the entire set, and as you can see, they are good as new. There's no staining, and these brushes are just super, super great, and I've washed these, I don't even know how many times, and they still look brand new every time I wash them. So um, I do the same thing with this spoolie. I just add a tiny bit of soap to my fingers, just my two fingers, and then I kind of rub the spoolie gently like this just to kind of get any excess product build up and then rinse that off and dry it off nicely. So I'm just gonna have these sit here uh, and let them dry and then I'll probably get to the bulk of my brushes tomorrow because I have to edit and upload this video now. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Again, everything will be linked down below in the description box. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.